Hey guys, welcome back. BGC Care here, and we're back with a glitch for 2.15. Uh, we're back with a breakthrough reset glitch. I wouldn't say the breakthrough reset glitch because it's a little bit different. But uh, thanks to Insight Game from a number of different posters about uh, the breakthrough clock on the Game Facts yeah, uh, board, we are actually able to use a slightly different approach. So a huge thanks to uh, M J I B R I L mm, Jibril. And BM and Chronic. I'm guessing that's Blunt Man and not Bowel Movement and Chronic. Yeah. So the key now is knowing that the breakthrough count cooldown clock is actually on the server side, so changing your device clock won't help. However, by that same token, since it's on the server, changing your time zone actually will help. Alright, yeah, the other thing you need to know is that the cooldown period can no longer be more than 24 hours, right? And it wouldn't surprise me, because remember that was the problem with the previous breakthrough, that sometimes your cooldown clock could be literally days. Mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't be surprising if this was an attempt by Warner Brothers and Realm to prevent glitching the breakthrough clock, which is what makes it possible to do this particular glitch. Yeah. So... We're going to just scrub through the first Fights breakthrough itself. fight. Yeah, yeah, so this is just nor normal cooldown clock, uh, and right to the end, here's the cooldown clock, and it has almost uh, 12 hours left. Yeah, so if you look at your own time zone, in this case, we're at negative four hours. Right, minus four from Gren Greenwich, Meantime. Meridian time. Yeah, so if we go past the 11-hour cooldown and get 12 hours ahead, or GMT plus eight, uh, under previous, or... I guess, what used to be normal circumstances, it would have given us a brand new breakthrough event. Instead, it shows us as having more than 23 hours for cooldown. Uh, and, and we've also tried it with yeah, some, so, yeah, some we're just Yeah, and we're going to scrub through some really quickly. We're going to show you some different times time zones that we've switched to. But really what it amounts to is getting uh, back to the time where we'll eventually land, which is just in the hour before it's supposed to give us a new breakthrough clock. So we're yeah. going to go back to 11 hours, which is going from minus 4 to plus 7, right? Yeah. And uh, that, really simple integers. That way there's less than an hour left, and we we can wait. And because it's tied to the server clock and not your devices, uh, we can't skip this part in real life, but we can skip this part in the video, so we will. One hour later. So the breakthrough event has now reset. We've got the next day's event, which is a bronze, because we're Sunday going on a Monday. Mm -hmm. And we'll finish it quickly. We're just going to speed it up here. And get our breakthrough promotion unlocked. Yeah, so now our clock has another 23 hours left to cool down. So we go back one time zone. So this is the key. You're going back one time zone. And normally that would be, or actually in, in most cases that would be a full hour to wait before the next time, so we could repeat the breakthrough event once an hour, which is way better than once a day. Mm -hmm. Except there are some half time zones, so there are only half hour differences instead of a full hour difference, and in this case, we can sometimes do an extra breakthrough event, and we'll speed through this next breakthrough event. Yeah. Now, because there isn't any possibility of having more than a 24 hour cooldown, which is how they patched it, there's no need to worry about fixing the clock. All you need to do is return it to your own time zone when you're done, and it'll kind of automatically adjust for you, the countdown timer. Right. And so, and the inevitable question we're going to answer here, will this result in a ban? And the answer is, we don't know. We haven't done it enough to be certain, and it definitely hasn't happened yet, and we've tested it dozens of times so far. Uh, we'll probably be better able to answer this in a few more weeks, but even then, we can't be sure, because... Uh, unlike most of the other glitches where we tell you try to do it offline, yeah, uh, this is a glitch that actually requires you to be connected to the server because that's the functionality of Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. um, so it's possible that this kind of activity can be tracked, um, but it seems unlikely. Mm -hmm. So as always, especially if you're doing any glitches while connected to the server like this one, use it at your own risk. So I guess for anybody who still doesn't understand kind of what we're getting at here, basically... You can reset glit on breakthrough at a much higher frequency, not like essentially whenever you want, like previously, but at a much higher frequency by changing your time zone and then either just keeping in just like you don't even have to be playing in justice no, at the time, right? No. So just essentially, if you're on and you're going to be playing every once in a while, or as long as you just don't want to wait the full time for breakthrough, you can use this to essentially make shorter, right? Shorter countdowns. You have the potential. Normally, your potential is for doing it every twenty-four hours. Now, your potential is for doing it every 
hour. Yeah, if you so and, choose. And more often when you've got half time zones in there. So there we go. I know Newfoundland's in a half time zone. Oh, but. yeah. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Hope this glitch was useful. Komoda. Komoda.